All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the Argia Dynasty, part 79. And, all right, so Random Dude did leave us a comment saying we need to fix our books. True! Let's fix our books. Um, something I do have to say that might be our best, we'll see. Is that uh, I'm going on to that family vacation I've been talking about uh, tomorrow, and so I'm not going to be able to really record reliably, if at all. I might be able to do an episode here or there, but yeah, so I haven't heard from you guys in the comments which, whether you'd prefer a short episode every day or a long episode every other day. And I'm going to try to record enough that I have a full hour episode going out every other day. It sounds like something I might be able to pull off. Uh, and if I can't, I'm sorry, I can't make any promises, obviously, I have to prioritize family. But I would like to be able to give you a full episode every other day, so we're gonna try to do that. Uh, wow, where are our learning books at? Most of our learning books don't give lifestyle experience. Here you go, the Hellenic Organon. Hell yeah. That's a great book. Let's see if it's better than- let's see if we have a book better than this. We have a lot of books, too! Took us a long time to find a better one. Here we are. Here's where we were. Okay. A lot of health boosts, but yeah, okay. I guess these are our best learning books. Fair enough. And that should help him get his uh, healthy and whole of body if he lives long enough for us to get there. We'll see if he gets there. That'll be more up in the air. Let's go ahead and get back to war here. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to... If I can, get an episode out for the near future every other day. Um, I'm going to be away with family for a little over a week. So that's probably going to be the next eight, nine days-ish. Someone's plotting to kill me again? Oh, come on! Why do people want to kill me so bad? Mayor Iranios? Okay. Uh, the game is definitely still figuring out our actual power again because it says our maximum military strength is 16,754. Here it comes. It'll fix itself in a sec. <clears throat> so Pantoleon, huh? Um, okay, well, it's, it's, it's made me the leader again. I was going to see how strong he was that it thought even for a small bit that he was the strongest member of the dynasty. Mayor Tandian? It is funny to me that every time you load the save, it has to refigure out that you're the best there is. Inokientios the Strong had 18,000 men. Which is more than our 16,700, yeah. 16,700 is, I'm assuming, how many levies and we have, um... When it's... Or is how many troops we have when it's just us and not our vassals. Like, just the counties that we control, that we've super developed. <laughs> That's a war! So be it. Crushed that one. On to the next. They're doomed. A seven prowess hammer. Okay. Your neighbor won against Belette. Rip, he lost the rest of his land. Enemy ally joins the war. Good luck. Charcoal burners in Kanara. I don't even know what that is. What is a charcoal burner? Tax and building structure time? Elephant traps! Bro, elephants! <laughs> oh my god! That's so sick! I love elephants. Alright, Constantios. This is your only land, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Then here you go. I didn't make it a kingdom yet. Whoops. Maharashtra. That's got a really fun ring to it. Go ahead and grant titles here. The Despotate of Maharashtra. There you go. Except We're still at 90 vassals. That's nuts. We definitely have enough vassal limit to do the whole world. Ransom, 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 ransom. Everybody's getting ransom. Everybody gets a ransom. It's like Oprah out here, but with ransoms. Anything here that we need to preserve? Anything at all? No, we did not. 
Oh my god, I'm paused. I'm sorry. I thought we were moving. 29,000! Look at that! And there's 35,000 of them if they were all together. Wow! That is impressive. Let's go defend over here. I mean, we're gonna win anyway, but let's go defend over here. Xanthos Horse Enthusiast. Okay, my uncle Despot Pantolian looks Xanthos up and down, nodding approvingly. It's a mighty fine stallion you have here, my Basilius. If you would allow me to take him for a ride, I'd be very grateful. Enjoy yourself. Go for it. A steak at court. More cheaters, man. Non-stop these guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, Petra, show them how it's done. Lead your men. 5,500 against 29,000. And there's the rest of them, but they're going to be way too late. No shot! What? There's a thing inside me which is not me. It eats its way through my flesh, feeding off my life force. Its strength increasing while I wither away. I push my hands against the growth under my skin, my fingers aching to tear it out. The thought of it growing makes me want to puke. Yes, unfortunately, it is cancer. I only know of one efficient treatment. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's supposed to be really good. 35 learning. He's got the physician trait. It's too late for caution. You have to get this thing out of me. Cut it out. Oh! And I still have cancer. Oh. Samuel's assistant assured me him assured him the potion would put me to sleep. Oh, how wrong he was. I could neither speak nor move, yet I was still aware of everything they did to me. I tried to scream and thrash, but I was a prisoner of my own body. The procedure seemed to last forever. Oh my god. The treatment was almost as unpleasant as my symptoms, yet it seems to have been effective. While I'm not fully cured, I feel much better. Greatly reduced disease symptoms. I we gained one eyed and wounded. And we lost our nuts. We became a eunuch. Oh my god. Live to see another day. Bro, what? Of course we're still in poor health, even with greatly reduced disease symptoms. Are we a eunuch? Or did it... Yeah, it said one-eyed, but we, we still have both of our eyes. What happened here? Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, Petros, that sucks. Oh my god, that's tough. Go take it out on these guys. Take it out on them. Show them who you are. There you go. 74 to 29,000. Look at all the fame and devotion from that battle, too. Oh my god. The slaughter at Ashmaka is going in the history books. 74 to 29,000? Oh no. Uh, we might not be Petros for very long. Which means we better get ready to take over as Nana the Fair because... Wow, he is in rough shape. He's in extremely rough shape. I mean, he's in poor health because of this. Can we save him? I mean, Petros has a bunch of problems. He's not long for this world in general, but... We have medium health books. We can try to help him as much as we can. We were trying to get more learning lifestyle experience, but now it's become more pressing to just get him what we can. This is as far as we'll be able to push him. And he's still in poor health. Yeah, Petros is not long for this world. Sorry to say. Five to four, yeah. Damn! That's nuts. That is nuts. Wow. Petros is on his way out just like that. Just surprise cancer in the middle of our playthrough. We've dealt with cancer before, but we've never dealt with cancer with a 72-year-old. That's a whole different beast. When you're already that old, cancer is not very survivable. Our last character that had cancer, they were in their 30s and 40s. That's that's prime that's that's prime for human beings. That's prime I have cancer, let me survive at age. 72 is not it. Man.
That is tough. 85 for that siege. Damn. 62%. Let's see if we can get the war done before he passes on at least. Yeah, I don't know how long... And he doesn't have Know Thyself, so we don't know. He might die in 10 days. He might die way later. We have no way of knowing at the moment. Just go siege that then. Secret exposed. Romilia is fathered by my vassal despot on Tyrio. That's not my problem. Not my direct lineage. No! <laughs> the person I was converting died at 61? Wow, it is tough. It's tough out here. I'm telling you. It is tough out here. Which... Which, which, which? It seems to me like most people are witches. I don't know where this 33% number is coming from, all right? I'm gonna need you to recognize all the witches, game. We got lots of witches. 33.81, I don't know about that. Seems to me like most people are. Mayor Enthusa. We might die before we get the single conversion off in 10 months. Damn. Oh my god, more cheating. She's actively pregnant and you're trying to cheat. Jesus. My wound has healed. Okay, we're back up to fine health. So we were barely in poor health with those books helping out. Whew. We still have cancer, obviously, but the greatly reduced disease symptoms is helping. We're not in fine health by much. We are being wounded away from being in poor health again. There's the war. Wow. I was planning on being Petros for much longer than what it's going to end up being, so I need to um, get comfortable with the fact that we might be playing as Nana the Fair somewhat recent, somewhat soon. It's going to be hard to get that, that cancer out. Let's hold some court. Two of my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to eat, reach my throne first. Okay, I just want to say, this game is so fun. <laughs> oh, I love recording these episodes. They're so good. Now that I'm not gonna be able to do it every day, I, I feel I feel I feel sad about that. <laughs> Despot Kyriakos bows before me. At least probably not. Bows before me. My lord, murder is wanton in the city streets throughout the Roman Empire. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. It's this again. Okay. Well, let's solve this safety debate with violence. Kyriakos is gonna win though. Alright, looks like there's gonna be a ban on arms. Never mind, I got who was who backwards. Yeah, carry weapons is upheld. Before me stands Baroness Philippa of Olbia, her head hung low. My lord, Olbia has been hit hard by the recent harsh winter. The people are starving, our fields are not recovering, and our livestock is not enough to survive anymore. My liege, Despotissa Eugenia, lacks either the money or the will to help us. We beg you to intervene and save your devoted subjects with your great magnanimity. I'll save some people. If you make it a regular thing, they'll become weak and not self-sufficient. But if it's a rare if it's a rare thing by a recent harsh winter, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely help with Ooh, development growth. For ten years. Oh. I'll grant you tax relief to get back up. Absolutely. My lord, I regret to inform you that I am at the end of my tether. My uncle Despot Eudoxios is clearly exasperated. The people over which I should rule are an uncontrollable mob of unruly barbarians with ridiculous customs and a terrible taste for food. All my efforts so far have been in vain. It just seems impossible to make civilized people out of them. Um, as long as they pay their taxes, I don't care. Um, but we're in the middle of a promote culture task right now. We're going to have to say this for now. We respect the traditions of all of our subjects, I guess. The business here is done. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I want him to be Hellenic too, but I'm, I'm actively in the middle of a different promote culture. And it's like over halfway done. We can't just give up on it now. Okay, we got another couple good kingdoms to take over. It's going much better in this section of India for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get right to it. Thank God she's wearing clothes, even though he's not. Don't want to get my, my video TOS. I don't even get ad revenue, obviously. I've got a super crazy tiny channel, but... <laughs> I just don't want to deal with any strikes or anything on the channel because I have so much... So many memories packed away in this channel 
that I would be so devastated to lose. The Warp of Kingdom. Nobody saw anything just a second ago. Um... Lanka. I'm not gonna worry about it. The Karakid. And declare war on their kingdom. And there you go. Alright, and we are in fine health now, so we do have, you know, a year or two at least before we really have to worry about dying again. Which should give us time to actually lay down some groundwork. Or just straight up win these wars. Okay. How long? It says three months, but it's like six... Yeah, it was like 65 days. Holy Order joins. Show Despots you stopped yet in at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Despotissa Eustathia. I accept your generous gifts, Despotissa Eustathia. Thank you kindly. 339 renown a month. Ridiculous. Oh, feast? 16 months, okay. Mayor Chrysanthos. We're almost for sure going to live to see our next feast, but I can't promise that. But the, we have very good odds of surviving to the next feast. More artifacts with low durability. Yeah, repair that just in case. I think we have better than four vassal in it, but better safe than sorry. We've got the money. Good. Okay. A lot of sieges happening. A lot of ransoms accepted. The omen. Oh no. Oh god, what is happening? A local mystic insisted on seeing me, and upon being brought into my presence, he started wailing and... Is that blood on his hands? The signs, the signs are not in your favor, my lord. I spilled the intestines of a hen, and the blood showed me your future. It's dark and full of death. Well, that's ominous. You gained bad omen for ten years. Oh my... Are you serious? We're still fine. Oh my... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Stop the villain behind this. Come on, we're not even going to live 10 more years. This had bad omen is going to be here the rest of his life. I'd be shocked, blown away if Petros lives 10 more years. That is not in the cards, unfortunately. There's just no way he lives 10 years. Not with cancer and his current age and all that. We'd have to get rid of the cancer first to even have a chance. Still in fine health at 73 is good. We have a lot of things counteracting penalties. So that is nice. Look at all these soldiers over here. <laughs> oh my god, took the daughter captive. The bars are doing a great job of blocking TOS there. We like that. Mayor Xenon. Mayor Nikolaus. Mayor Constantine. Mayor Theodosios. Okay. My spire's coming to you grave news while you do not yet know who someone's fighting against my Curdy or Christophoros. We've got a lot of plots going on here. The, the murder us plot might not need to happen, my man. Oh! I accidentally clicked away from the siege. Whatever, fine. Let's go fight some people. No, I mean... Yeah, fine. We're, we've, we've committed now. Let's just go. Look how many people are here. This is... 10, 5, 11, 21, 45,000 soldiers are right here? Between the different armies? <laughs> Whoa. They're coming to play. And we're coming to slay. Sorry. Both for the pun, or both for the rhyme and for the murder. 29 short beers. Look at these. Some of these even have one prowess. One has 22, and that's it. There's one guy here with over 20 prowess. Oh, y'all are doomed. Y'all are so doomed. That's tough. Yee. Knee slain in battle! No! Baroness Berengaria! She died in battle? Oh my... Her spouse was dead too, but... Oh my god, that sucks. She never even had kids. A genius Amazonian with no kid. Oh. She was brave. Yeah, double is likely to die in battle. 
Brave can be deadly. 58 to 30,000. The slaughter at Orangalu. Oh my god. Balaki had over 200 himself. Whoa. That's a lot. Count Umar the third. By the way, I finally realized why the number goes down when we're in battle. See how it says 5,015? But then when the battle's over, it's 5,462. I was like, why do we always have less people fighting? Duh. Because 450 of them are trebuchets. And trebuchets aren't doing nothing in a battle. They're for sieging buildings. And I was like, and it all started to come together. Sorry, I just bumped my desk. That might have messed up with the mic. Berenguela again. Wow. Wow, Berenguela, you are... This one's not going to succeed, but that one's looking pretty good on you, to be honest. Wipe him out. Learning lifestyle perk. Oh, boy. Wash your hands. Reduce tr chance of contracting illnesses. A little late! Iron Constitution, Disease Resistance, Health, Massive Boost. This Iron Constitution actually is going to be a big pickup for us if we live long enough to see it, which I think we will. Like I said, we are at fine health at least. Looks like a big part of our health problems were being wounded. Another one. Another daughter. Oh, and she's looking fantastic. Agni is actually a great name. Hold up. Let me, let me run with that. Agni de Argied. May grow strong and wise. Nice valuable hostage. Is what it said, but nothing actually happened there. 41 to 20,000 again. What the? We've killed 50,000 over here. 13 to 4,727. We basically just killed 55,000 people in these wars. 55,000 Indians have died. Oh. My. Good God. That is next level murder. Jesus. India, we don't have to kill this many people. Just give up your lands. Delegated authority. Nice. That's actually a decent one. And so will home estates be. And then we'll start picking up the trash at the top. Oh my good god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get to it. If we don't get to it, they're going to be here forever. Keep going. Keep going. All the ransoms. Not even enough money for some of these. None of them are worth war score, so they're all worth selling. There in Eudoxios. We're at 250,000. Quarter of a way to a million. <laughs> we will not hit a million before this runs over, but we'll definitely get a lot of money. Lisa. What in the world has happened to my daughter Lisa? She's all bruised and beaten and she refused to name who did this to her. Was it an older child? Or did she pester a noble to the point of fury? Now she has all but stopped talking, constantly hides away where, there, where there, when there's people nearby. Poor girl. Shy is terrible. That's not happening. Paranoid or craven? Oh my god. These options. Lisa! <laughs> no! Damn it! We got impatient, and now we're going to get paranoid. You're basically... Ugh, I don't know where you're getting these traits from. Someone left a comment saying that it comes from their guardian or whatever, but we don't have impatient... Well, we do have paranoid. But we don't have impatient or shy, so I don't know where... They're getting these traits from. But of these three... Shy is the worst. Craven, she'd live... She does not enjoy being challenged or scared at all. That doesn't sound like Lisa's personality. Uh, Lisa, it doesn't sound like you're paranoid either, but I might give you paranoid over Craven and, and Shy. You're going to be paranoid just like Pop. Just like your dad. You're going to be paranoid. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hooray. We're paranoid. Imposter. Recently, I feel like I'm not worthy of the Roman Empire. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be a good, rational Basilius, but my subjects always seem to adore the philosophies of others and never my own musings. Damn this universe for raising one support as me to such heights. And Thusa will support me for 50 stress loss. Yeah, we're dealing with some stress. 
We're no longer overwhelmed by it, at least. Can't seclude ourselves until 1146. 1146 of June, we can seclude ourselves and talk to a confidant. And that'll help with our stress as well. Let's go get the rest of this county, and that will probably get us up to the 90%. We'll see. Mayor Tamias. Mayor Magistos. Mayor Gregorios. Baroness Vivian. Did Gregorios just give us like 300 or something? More cheating. Stop it. Guys, <laughs> what is wrong with all of you? Put it where it belongs, please. Or leave it in your pants. For God's sake. There are well-intended places for that. Or keep it in your pants. I watched the sleeping shape of Yoane's while I s Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to our communion, brother. <laughs> Another witch. Excellent. Here you go. You and your child will be witches. Keep it up. Mayor Nikephoros. Mayor Thecla. Mayor Anthemos. More ransoms. I'm trying to get through these. Alright, that's one war down. We need to wait for enforced demands, though. Let's go hit him. Alright, enforced demands. And that battle's over. Thank you, Mayor Eliodora. May your humor humor's rot in your living body. Thanks for the land, man. Mayor Callistos. Mayor Michael. Reeve Wolf. Wow, those were all enemies from that specific war. And now it's over, so no worries. Alright then. Um Yeah, let's just go down here. It's a shame we didn't we couldn't also take this bit of land, but we just took that, so. We'll go hit this capital and then we'll go back up to the Katakid. Okay, she left to go do something. She went to go be a count. Got it. But we need a new master of the horse then, don't we? And a new court tutor. We don't have a court tutor. What? That's like the worst thing to not have. Our children need court tutors. I'm an idiot. How did I miss that? Did y'all see that night? Or did I? Am I just an idiot? Probably. But damn it. <laughs> He's only got 29 counties, so he can take another kingdom. Usurp that. The Despotate of Karnata. And then that'll be the last one for him before it gets split four ways when he dies. Assuming he gets that many children, but he will. And then we gotta find new people to hand off these next ones to. Except Mayor Hectorios. After these wars, we'll be over 2,100 counties. It goes a lot faster when the enemy king... Stop cheating. By Bacchus. I'm going to start saying that in real life. I'm going to see it so many times in this game. The Age of Knowing. Yes, Zenobia deserves to know her power. Gains the trait Witch. Good, good. So many ransoms. We're finally starting to get through them all. Fair Narcis, thank you. Alright, I think we're finally done with Ransoms. Nice. Jarka now speaks Greek. Good, Bohemia should have been speaking Greek a while ago. To be honest. Alright, two more sieges and this might be done to be honest. My vassal count guy that is plotting against my courtier Christophoros. Huh. Heartless Fiend. That'll definitely lower the odds of it working, though. Yeah, he just gave up on it entirely. 59% <laughs> on Berenguela is tough, though. She's probably doomed for that one. I don't need to keep swaying her. She's at 100. Who else can I be swaying right now? I just thought I, thought I just saw an 80 up here. Was it that 96? 86? Zenobia? Who needs swaying? Who doesn't love us? Wolf doesn't love us. You will now love us.
Captain Tethion. And their soldiers are just chilling over there, so, I mean, if they don't stop us, we'll just siege away, I guess. We siege way quicker than anyone else does. We got those tons of trebuchets. My counselor, Yakub, died. Rest in peace, my steward. My my powerful vassal has got... My best powerful vassal has 20 stewardship. And he's 84. 36 is so much better. And he's so much better than anyone else. Look at that. Goes from 29 to 36. Marikios of Pomerania. Talented man. Make it so. Mayor Theodotos. Mayor Yefstify. Mayor Kale. Bear Casantos. Mayor So oh, Jesus. What? A lunatic? Bear with me. I opened the door to my castle and found my find myself standing face to face with a giant bear. Oh, Sugar Puff, you abandoned your friends? I ask her and start to corral her back to the main hall. As I enter the room, a cacophony of sound swells as every animal I've been able to get my hands on greets me. <laughs> what? This is my bear, right? <laughs> yeah, this is my pet bear. My sweeties, I'll find you even more friends. As I exit the room, Sugar Puff pursues me. You gain exotic animals. This character has a lot of exotic animals. <laughs> I... I should sell them, shouldn't I? No! My, my sweeties! <laughs> Petros, you're insane! I just realized that's what's happening to our kids, is Petros, this insane lunatic, is raising our children. <laughs> Damn! Another counselor down, this time due to cancer! It's an epidemic! Rip my spy master, he was so good! Sergios the Shrewd is ten better than the next powerful vassal, so we're doing that. Damn. People be dropping. Petros still in fine health. That's good, that's good. All things considered, that's very good. Can I have the feast in five days? Wow, that was almost perfect timing right there. A prisoner in my own body. Oh, now we're infirm too? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower, but I didn't think it would all come to a halt until my death. Lately, I feel a constant malaise, and everything takes more effort than before. I'm worried that if I lie down, I might not be able to get up again. There's no doubt that my time is running out. I feel like I can do naught but await death's sweet embrace to claim me. Infirm. How long will I have to wait? Yeah, our health is poor. I'm not surprised by that at all. Where is the infirm? Here it is. Minus three to everything except for six to prowess. Severe health penalty. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're going to be Queen Nana the Fair of Italy real soon. Yikes. He is checking out right now. Man, he's in so much trouble. I'd rather not be at war when this happens, to be honest. Let's have a last feast, my man. The music's even kind of fitting right now. Confirm. Go ahead and have your feast. We have a lovely time ahead of us. I hope you live to see it, my man. Hope you live to see it. That's tough. 76%. Alright. One more siege will probably do it, then. And then we'll head up. Count Thomas is going against Maranguela. Which one is that? Aha! That was the one with good success chance. She's good now. Captain L.A. Mayor Togar. Mayor Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Whatever. What is this religion they all have that they're not wearing clothes? Must stop the... Someone's trying to kill my granddaughter, Meg Megara? What? Why? More cheating. Get get out of here with that. Get out of here. Oh, damn. We lost stewardship to the point where we can't actually handle how much land we have again. Shoot. We need to be able to handle nine land. I'm sorry, but, like, that needs to happen. No available spell. Oh, that's right, she took over land. Oh, come on. 
That also hurt our chances of being a good steward. Well, sh I guess we're dealing with this penalty for now. We have no way around that. Damn, Petros, that's tough. If you can get to that Iron Constitution, that would help too, but I don't know, man. It's going to be a long time before he gets that next learning lifestyle perk. Wow, we didn't get there. Need to get this one too, I guess. Fornicator? I don't. I can't understand why people pay for that. You guys going to the Americas? Where are you all headed? Whoa, what? That's impassable. Where are they going? <laughs> are they going to North America? What, what was that boat doing? That was strange. My brother, Despot Sebastianos, that is plotting to kill me. You. You love us. Sadistic, gluttonous, and arbitrary? Wow. My own brother. Wow, my own brother. Dorothy needs a guardian. She's got a good personality. We can go with that one. And she's a genius. I am so shocked that a plus 100 brother is who tried to kill me. Take the despotic of Scotland from him? Whoa. Whoa. Don't revoke his... Yeah, don't don't try to um, imprison him. Just revoke all of his stuff. Give it to someone else. You, can, you have a claim on the title allowing you to revoke it without being viewed as a tyrant. Oh my god. Yeah, that's for trying to kill me. I'm already on my way out, alright? Just be a little patient. <laughs> Oh, no. I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip me of the despotate of Scotland, dear brother. Damn straight. Giving it to someone else who actually deserves this thing. Who's ruling England right now? Maybe who's ruling Ireland right now? Theophilus the Just. Uh, I'm gonna need- I'm gonna ask you to temporarily, um, not for very long, it'll get passed on to your kids. But, um... Cardos, do you have better... Do you have better... No. Yeah, we'll do that. The Alpha suggest here. Take this kingdom. My uncle. Uh, my brother couldn't handle the responsibility, so I'm giving it to my uncle. And when he passes on, it'll be split two ways between his children. There we go. Force those demands. And we make our way up to the... Kakid. Who's been getting Defender Control's War Score target because obviously it's been a long time. Welcome to our communion, sister. Another witch added to the pile. Okay. Um another witch, please. She already is. Sharka of Bohemia, huh? She's really old though. How about her heir? This is her primary heir? No, Baroness Yarun is her primary heir. Let's convert her then. Then when she has kids, she can make even more witches. Perfect. Okay, we don't need all these things. No, we didn't need those things. Good. Alright, it's gonna take three months of travel. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the death screen. It just kind of popped up on us, and I was like, oh my god, did we just die? Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Your rival lost the county, lost the title, so we lost stress. Ha! Got him. Apparently we love that. Maragathy. Man, our brother was just unfit to rule, I guess. That's so crazy. I think that was four indulgences on the same day. Mayor Maria... Mayor of Anthea. Mayor Theoctis. Mayor Alexandra. 
Hang in there, Petros. Hang in there. Court Jester, a good story. You look tired, my lord, my Jester Marquia says, as we lie infirm in a bed. Yeah, I know the cure for that. It's called Digenes Acrites. What do you say? Shall I start reading? Maria beckons for me to sit down. It is an amusing text. I really need this break. She even does different voices for the characters. Oh, oh boy, it says the lunatic Petros. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. Go get him. Count Hypatios. Mayor Thecla. Mayor Zene. We already have the battle scores capped here, but, you know, this is what it is. Despot David is more susceptible to my attempts to impress him. His relentless courage. He's zealous. We'll give it a shot. Worst case, he like doesn't like it, you know, is what it is. Okay, we need a new ruler down here. We were looking at Unike earlier. Both unlanded. She is a... Yeah. Wow. Wow, is she qualified. I mean, she's greedy, but she's qualified. 100% qualified. We need to make this kingdom. I always forget to do that. I mean, damn. Should have given her something earlier. She's 33 already. But there's just not enough despot tates for all the qualified people in our lands. Good problem to have. Alright. Go get him, Kyriak. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I can't help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. Excellent. He's about to like us a lot more, because the sway is about to be over. Wipe him out. And that stopped their sieges, too. That's so good. 28 to 12,444. Well over 100,000 people have died because of wars that Petros declared. That's for sure. Yikes. Well, yet, uh, you know what? Uh, we're already going. 17 to 7,800 there, too. My friend Luca died. That almost broke our stress right there. Damn it. Okay, the Vijaya the Deity. The Vijaya Deity. The Vijaya Deity. I think it's the Vijaya Deity. Oh my god. Now speaks Greek. That's great. <laughs> god damn it. Why are they doing that to me? What's going on in India where everybody's not wearing their clothes? Why are you all like this? Oh! Another ancient scarab brooch. <clears throat> oh, these are so good. The, the propaganda chronicle is getting passed on now. Um, ancient, there it is. Wow! Three of them now. These, this is like the best trinket I've seen in this game. And now we have three of them. Does that bring him up to fine again? No. He's just a better poor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, good there, Petros. I know you don't have long for this world, but I want to see you at least finish these wars and see your feast. Education is at an end. Zenobia is a mastermind philosopher. Well done, my daughter. Well done. Okay. Oh, my granddaughter Zenobia can marry. Yes, she can. Let's find someone roughly her age who's qualified. A Dalwin. That's a terrible personality, though. Hippolytus? Ooh, that's a winner. That's a winner. That is a winner. Send the proposal. Accept and accept. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I'll graciously take the hand of your granddaughter Zenobia in holy matrimony. Excellent. Welcome to the family, son. Great grand, you know, grandson, whatever. Welcome, friends. He made it to his feast. Let's go. <laughs> now speaks Greek. Nice. My dear wife, Athanasia, has been working hard to ensure that everything about the feast goes smoothly. The food arrives on time, the guests are all seated in the right place, and everyone seems content. With Athanasia behind, beside me at the great table, everything is ready. I squeeze her hand and smile at her before rising to announce the start of the celebrations. Aw, that's actually really sweet. What would I have done without her? 17 stress and household efforts. That is actually really sweet. Um, wants to forge a regalia. She's very competent. Nah. We have enough mediocre artifacts, thank you. What's going on? Okay, 
My lord, the wine. We cracked up with the barrel. It's gone bad. It's all gone bad. The wine merchant should still be in town. <laughs> you gain fought thirst for 10 years, getting us prestige. We lose 50 stress because we're a drunkard. Score. <laughs> and for money, which we have tons of. Worth. Nice. There's a bunch of stress relief from my dead friend. That's tough. Procopios has a... Really? David doesn't need to be swayed anymore as much as this guy does, apparently. I'll just send him a gift. There, he likes us. Back to swaying the wolf here. What's going on? Ah, uh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Good folk to mingle with here. We don't need as much stress loss now. So let's, let's, let's mingle with some folk. Make it happen. Oops. Curse undone. Nice. Rest in peace, loser. Feast the conversation partner. As one plate of food is uh, replaced by the next, my vassal Baron Helios goes on and on about hunting. And that was how we salvaged that mess. I'm sure I'm not boring you, my lord. No, give me that interesting conversation. We don't need more friends, though. We're gonna get stressed from them. Mirinaketis. And we're paranoid anyway. We probably shouldn't have too many friends when you're paranoid. Baroness Igedia. Okay. Few candles survive after the last of the guests have left. Oh, wow. It's all done, huh? No stress loss because we're shy. I still don't understand that one, but whatever. Ooh, wine, ale, and fine food. What better relief from the troubles of the world is there than a night of revelry? As each feast ends, I find myself planning the next. I wonder who will come. Oh, God. <laughs> but I have other... No, we lose... We gain 80 stress no matter what we choose. Damn it. <laughs> That's not worth it. Ow, my stress. For eager reveler. It's got a third row of traits now, probably? No, not quite. It's Isn't it June of this year that we can do this? Yeah. Alright, we're coming up on our stress relief options. That'll be really nice when it happens. Your neighbor won against your other neighbor. The Suraj Palid. Okay. Kamarupa split when the when the dad died. It's cleaner, but it's still kind of a mess. Baroness Euphrosyne. And that's the war. Good job finishing those wars, Petros. We appreciate you. Disband all. Alright, so we're going to keep doing wars, but we need to do smaller wars. Ones that we can easily finish in one sitting. Real quick, in case he passes away, we need to move on. Lanka is one territory. We can do that next. Where's the capital of Lanka? Down here? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and declare war. Holy war on the kingdom of Lanka. And that'll be it. No more than that. go straight for the capital? No, we can't do that. Okay. More witchcraft inductions. That's good. Graceful aging gives us diplomacy. Not the most graceful of aging we've had, to be honest, but cool. Cool. Oh, God. That's not happening. Stop. Disband. That's not happening. Um... It's in the middle of the woods. It's going to take forever. No, that wouldn't work either. Damn. Alright, looks like it's going to be a little inconvenient where we gather, but it is what it is. Raise him here. Go hit that county before we move on to the main area. Whoa! Nana got divorced. That means we can pick their husband. <laughs> nice. Most skilled individual, please. We don't need to worry about kids. Wow, that's really skilled. What the hell? This guy's really skilled, and it's not a bunch of learning skill either. Count Nifon. No, but he owns land. Sweep. If they own land, we can't do it. Masood doesn't own land. Flamen Trianos is shy. No. Ambitious, temperate, and generous. Zaban. 
Hmm. And is of the right age. We don't need to worry about not, him not having any traits because we're not going to have any kids at this age. He'd, he'd bring great stats to the table. Yes, I believe that's what I want. Send the proposal. She loses 400 prestige, but she's exalted among men already, and we haven't even controlled her yet, so I think she'll be okay. Your daughter and heir Nana and my acquaintance Zaban will be joined in holy matrimony. Excellent. Now she has a powerful husband at her side. Beautiful. Promote culture finished. Nice. Let's keep working on that East Germany. Here we go. Ransom. Thank you. And back to this. Oh, we have another kingdom to hand off. True. Um, we gotta usurp it. And then it'll be a little split, but that'll be alright. It's not that split. The Despotate of Orissa. There you are. Kyriak is the better leader because of Holy Warrior, so let's have her take over. Ransom accepted. Good. Good. All and all things are going well. Very well. Duchess Athena created the cadet branch Argiad Sebez, which is a branch of a branch. Okay. I bet we're over 4,000 now. Hold up. Also, we're over 400 renowned. Where did that happen? 4,087 living members. 428 renown a month. Woof. Witchcraft a new novice. Welcome to our communion, sister. Yet another one added. Uh, he's not part of the dynasty. She is, and it's not a witch. Perfect. Let's get her let's get her primary heir instead. Yeah. Because when she has kids, she can make them witches too. There we go. Mayor Dionysia, Captain Hadiat. Xanthos, the trusty stallion. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty stallion, Xanthos, and offers his services. All I ask in return is small compensation. He needs to be stronger. Move more swiftly is something he needs to learn. He needs to work on his endurance. One thing he's lacking is fierceness. It's what I pay a master of the horse for. Not interested. Um, is she good? I kind of want her to do it then, if, if so. She's excellent. Yeah, I'm going to have her try it. That's what I pay a master of the horse for. Xanthos took to his training well, and results could have, could be seen instantly. That was money well spent. <laughs> Gained Agile war, war Horus. Plus one prowess. This character is an Agile War Horus that follows their every command. Nice. Alright. Things are going fairly well. Definitely, definitely. Don't need those things. Mayor Philothios. Petros is hanging in there. <laughs> Oh, Petros. We'll know when it's been five years since he had cancer because the uh, physician message will pop back up. Oh boy, 2%. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pelagi. Okay, Bert Brittany now speaks Greek. About time on that one, to be honest. Oh, Ricardos of England. Drank himself to death. So England and Wales have split now, which adds a vassal. <clears throat> and Venice now speaks Greek. Also about time on that. Are you serious? I just gave you that land and you're already a cheater. Hi -yi -yi. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, stress relief. Seclude yourself. Goodbye. I'm truly at peace and talk to Confidant. Now listen here. My mind is at ease. Lost 10 opinion of a bunch of people. Whoa! But I had to get that stress relief for poor Petros here. He's, he's roughing it. What can I say? Let's go get our land back. Go to Kongu. 20%. That's much better. That's much better. Oh, they're doomed. 
Rest in peace. 22 to 13,000. Yep. That is how it goes. Kinswoman Anapatra. That is playing against my granddaughter, Megara. You're trying to kill Megara? You? Why? What do you seek to gain from that? She gave up on it as soon as she got exposed. Damn straight. We have over 400 court artifacts. That's yeah, the same thing. Okay. Whether they're green or blue, they're still the same thing. Oh! But this one gives a small health boost. Yeah, small health boost, not a medium health boost. We need we need every bit we can get. Yeah, never mind. Maharaja Krishna Roy's jewelry casket, which is good for 200 years. Wow. There, Itazaz. Got that back, good. Now we go take this capital. Take this and this capital, and that'll be it. Davida Swade, good. We don't need to sway him anymore. Whoa, Eugenia, really? The shrewd. What is your problem? You need swaying is what you need. Gotta abandon this manually so that we can start swaying her without ruining our witchcraft conversion. Okay. And it's about that time, so let's wrap up this war before we call it. I don't know if Petros is going to survive the next episode. I'm kind of a little surprised that he even survived this episode. Because things were looking really rough for Petros there. A little bird. At first I thought they were merely idiosyncrasies, but it's clear one of the many servants at court has been furtively signaling me. Yeah, we've seen this. Lastly, so as my lord Despot Sergios, your aloof rival, has had incestuous relations behind the closed doors of your castron. I swear of Zeus is my witness. Ugh. My spy master. Ugh. Ugh. I need more reliable men like you. No, we're paranoid. Take this, you report to me only. You gain servant informants for five years for some money. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what Petros would do. And we have the extra money to make it happen. More ransoms and more indulgences. It's the way of our world. Faction disbanded. That's good. A dream of glass. I crawl my way to consciousness after a sleep so deep I almost lost myself. I dreamed of big panes of glass carrying me closer to the sun and a vortex of stars. Reaching as far as I could, I managed to grab the heavenly body in its flaming glory, tugging until it toppled down and fell to earth. Embracing it, I felt serenity and warmth that I have never before experienced. So blend splendid. So grand. I can now take a decision to build a glass monument. Yeah! Let's go, Petros! <laughs> I love this lunatic. <laughs> build a glass monument. Gains a special building slot in Byzantium for a glass monument. Which gives this building is seemingly excellent for growing vegetables. Giving us tax. 25% development growth. Holder of this holding gets small health. What? You gain the nickname the Man of Glass. I will catch the sun. Yes. <laughs> Did we just invent greenhouses with this lunatic? Around me an abundance of plants flourish, water condensing on the panes above as the sun filters through the glass and onto my upturned face. I spin faster and faster and I throw my jacket to the ground in glee as I laugh. The sun is in here with us. It was well worth the fortunate cost. I have tamed sunlight. No way. <laughs> Oh my god, what a perfect ending to this episode. The man of glass, the man who has problem after problem, trying to kill him off, getting sick in all kinds of ways. And after all of that, he invents greenhouses? What? Dude, Petros, you unit! I can't believe it! That's monumental! This man invented greenhouses! Holy shit! Nice iron constitution for that massive resistance health boost. Putting him back up in fine health. Ugh.
trust you unit I can't believe this man did that that is a finale to end this episode on wow so be it thanks for the land it's 1147 AD and here's what the world looks like High Priest Petros, the man of glass, this paranoid lunatic, just invented greenhouses. Holy shit. The man of glass. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining High Priest Petros, the man of glass, and I on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 with the, with the Diarjead dynasty. And we will see all of you probably in two days for another Crusader Kings 3 video. I'll see all of you next time. <laughs> what a finale. That's so sick.